And coming up next, a heavyweight championship fight between Stipe Miocic and Daniel Cormier. So here we go, Stipe Miocic, Daniel Cormier, Act 2. Your thoughts on what Stipe might be trying to do here to even the series? Stipe needs to keep distance. He needs to make sure that he is dictating the engagements as he did at the beginning of the first fight. He was the one that was, lead, that was leading the dance. He has to lead the dance tonight, not get into Daniel Cormier's most favorite positions, and that's in the clinch. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single, switched to a high cross. Close guard. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arm. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon in the mat or if you're going to give your back up, where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Right hand punch to the clinch. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. So just over 20 total strikes have connected for Daniel against the takedown. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working out of side control here. His, well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Miacic. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than. Oh, wow, oh! And he's out. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, round two now. Stipe Miocic. You ready? And not a great hair day on the other side. Daniel Cormier. Cormier gets caught with that punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Stop there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or the corner about to take him. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Try to establish that jab. 46 total strikes have landed for Daniel Cormier. Well, more often than not, when it's been thrown, it has landed. DC landing at a 70% clip tonight against Stipe Leach. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful. Transitioning to the arm submission now. And he's out. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Cormier's back in half guard. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's gotta grab that head 
or he's going to get blasted. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit... Under two minutes now in round two. to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so now we see some dirty boxing in the clinch in DC. This has certainly been a big trade ball of your success, just finding a home for those punches in these clinch situations. This is where I live. I love fighting in the clinch and landing those strikes. There are so many small spaces where you can land really, really good punches. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground. Cormier is going for the arm submission. Oh! Nicely done. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. You ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Cormier gets the takedown. On the shot. There you go, single leg. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't wanna be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John, that's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions, and now he's jumping on a triangle. Many of these have landed with power behind them. 93 total strikes have landed for Daniel Cormier. DC, pretty good for you, man, thus far. And landing at a 72% clip tonight thus far against Stipe Miocic. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Single collar tie there. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe. Oh, and he hip tosses it to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. South control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round to fight. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your full desire 
to win a fight. Cormier's lower shot, and he gets the takedown. He gets the takedown and falls right into side control, exactly where he wants to be. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by the heavyweight Miocic. All right, has the guard closed here. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark. Thus far, how's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Awesome, nice boxing chops there from Daniel Cormier. We talked so much about the wrestling. Don't sleep on those hands. Yeah, but it's because of the wrestling that allows these guys, especially a guy like DC, who's shorter, to manage distance, manage space in the striking room. He's gonna get himself knocked out. You gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Both guys really throwing with a four. Miocic gets caught with that punch. Oh, and he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympian's gotta like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. Now he's gonna try to attack Kimura here. The is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, right to the mount. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the heavyweight Miocic. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low as you right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. 20 minutes down. Are you ready? You ready? It is the fifth and final round. Starting to do some really sick. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because it's. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Nice kick with the right hand. Fantastic kick, though. Cormier's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but... Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Up now. now he's okay. Now he can escape. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, right in the mouth. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Two minutes now to go in this one. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh! Oh. It's over. It's over.
Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called to stop in this contest at three minutes, 15 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon.